My dear friends, welcome to this tutorial. Now, last week I did a tutorial on how to do a step through at a safety vault, depending on what you call it, and it's linked over here. Um, this is like a progression move from that step through. This is also like something else that you can also do in parkour, but it's really good to know how to do a step through. Then you can move over to this move. This today we're gonna learn something that is called a speed vault. It's good to start with like a step through as a just warm up. So just warm up with step throughs or safety vaults, depending on what you call them. Ooh. And then try to do step through like a lot faster than you have ever done. So try to get the height and also do faster. Step one. Maybe just tap with the leg that is touching the block. Just tap it on the object or, or the block and then just move forward. Some people will just tell you that speed vault is just that you run, put one hand on the wall and then jump over it by only using one hand. And that is not wrong. That is also kind of right, but I think that this is how I like my speed runs, speed run, speed vaults. A good thing to start with is that you have a block that is kind of a little bit low, not too high, and then that you have a block near a wall or, uh, or another block that is a bit higher. And the thing you do here is instead of putting that foot on the block, you put it on the wall. As you do this, just think of one thing. That is, don't run towards the wall like in from an angle or direction. Just go straight towards the block. And as you're approaching the block, you hit the wall with your leg or with your foot. The block is still the focus. And as you're getting comfortable with this move, this step, then go on to the next step, which is that you want to put your hand further away from the wall. Not the block, the wall. So if you're doing like this, that you're kind of uh, starting from maybe this half of the block, like you put your hand on here and then the leg here. Uh, then try to move like farther away from the wall or from this higher block. So if I'm starting here, I want to do a bit far away from here. And as I'm getting comfortable with that move, what I want to do is I, want, I just want to tap on the wall. Just like we did the tap uh, on the block for the safety vault. See what I did there? I tapped on the wall and the other leg, other leg is pointing me where I'm gonna land. So it's, it goes, if I'm done with my tap here, this leg is pointing. So I know that this is where I'm gonna land and then I can keep on running. Uh, well, after this, try to move more farther away from the wall on this block and try to do the tap as little as possible. So try to hit this wall as little as possible with your foot. And also if you have like a movable block then you can move it more away from the wall. And try the same thing again. Now I think that you are ready to do a speed run without the wall if if you have done like all these steps but if you are still like confused or uncomfortable with doing without the wall then try these moves that you do the speed run as if you are gonna kick the wall or take a step on a wall without the wall but maybe not on the middle of the block maybe on the side of the block so your legs are still hanging outside or they're outside of the block so you don't hit your legs or your knees that 
it's a lot of pain if you hit those knees. But you go over it. So one hand, boom. And as I get more comfortable with this move, I move the move that I know more inwards to the block. I'm also noticing that the leg, the foot that I'm that are placed on the block or the wall, I'm kicking a little bit like this. And as I get more and more comfortable with it, instead of just being like sitting like this on the air, I want to lay down a bit more. So I'm laying my body down and that is kind of the point of the speed run or speed vault that you run kind of throw yourself over, you put one hand down, do the kick thingy, land. Do that move really well, try on higher wall or higher block or higher wall, yes? That was it for this tutorial. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button on this channel if you want to see like more updates every week. Tutorials every week on Thursdays and Mondays I have vlogs coming along. I just have to catch my breath. Okay, bye. See you next time.